What's a quirky thing that you do on set before filming that would surprise me? Well, you know, sometimes, <laughs> this is a bit silly, but I dance a lot on set. Ooh, okay. But yeah, because there's something about, um, like, just being free. And, like, sometimes if you're, like, moving around or dancing, you're kind of making a fool out of yourself in front of 100 people. And so if you do that off camera, then it's easy to do it on camera. So there's a lot of times I kind of, I'll just dance just to release tension. Jessica, the first line in the production notes for this film reads, Zookeeper's Wife is a film written and directed by women. How do you think starring in this film will affect the future roles that you take on as an actress? Well, if you look at my roles um, that I've taken on, it's always been um, female characters that push against um, the status quo and what society expects them to be or to do with their lives. Um, that's something that's very important to me. I work in an industry that doesn't necessarily support female filmmakers. Nikki Caro is an incredible filmmaker and um, I think she did such a beautiful job with this film. So I'm hoping that when people see this film, they won't be so afraid of the female point of view. The need for diversity is such an important talking point right now in Hollywood. What are the discussions that you think should be happening right now in the film industry with diversity, particularly with the women? Um, I think that people need to um, push back a little bit. It's not enough to just say like, oh, we need more female filmmakers. We need more movies from multiple points of view. You have to look at yourself and if you're part of the industry, you're part of the problem. And so you need to ask yourself, what can you do um, to start a positive change? And it feels like you haven't allowed yourself to be defined by playing a particular role. Uh, why is that? The idea of femininity has been redefined in modern days. Now um, femininity is defined by the individual. Yeah. So women can be powerful, they can be ambitious, they can be strong, they can be leaders, they can be soft, um, courageous and brave and compassionate and kind and loving and emotional. They can be many things. So the characters I play, I want to encompass that in the, the many different characters. Who are one or two of your sheroes if the stars align that you would love to play on the big screen? We don't acknowledge women in history like we acknowledge men in history and there's so many incredible characters out there. There's Belva Lockwood who was the first woman to run for president and she ran for president before women even had the right to vote and she got 4,000 votes <laughs> which meant 4,000 men voted for her. Um, she's an incredible woman in history. Um, Jerry Cobb is an incredible woman in history, an incre a, a very talented um, pilot who um, was part of the Mercury 13 and fought to be included, um, to become an astronaut. Uh, there's women everywhere we look that have forged these paths that we now tread on. And I hope to unearth these stories and to celebrate the sacrifices they made and um, to acknowledge them.